Washington, D.C. in Riverside County. What we need is to deliver what makes Riverside County so special to Washington. Folks in the capital might find honesty, dignity, respect, and community to those, their commitment to those that elect them over their personal, political ambition would, long, would go a long way towards getting our nation's problems solved. My friends, I am not a typical candidate for office, and I'm certainly not a typical candidate for Congress. I am not interested in the insider games that make lobbyists rich and the political tricks that protect incumbents that make it hard for normal citizens to break through that system. Together, we are going to break that system. We're going to break that system because Republicans and Democrats have both gotten away far too long focusing on petty arguments rather than fixing the problems that confront us. In the midst of three erupting scandals, Benghazi, IRS targets, and the administration secretly spying on reporters, our current representative has remained largely silent. Let me tell you something about me. Many of you already know this. If something is wrong, it needs to be fixed. And I don't care which party or which people are to blame. I will always take the stand for what is right. There is no benefit, excuse me, there is one benefit of being injured in the line of duty and having been under fire on both sides of the barrel. And that is, there aren't many of those out there. And in politics, there is no harm or intimidation or pain that can equal that. When you stand up to the status quo, you're always going to be attacked. And folks, I was born in, to be ready to take those attacks. I want, to, I want answers to Benghazi. Americans don't abandon Americans when they're in trouble. And I don't care who it implicates, we deserve the truth. I believe the IRS has been out of line. We all need the answers to that. And I want to know who's going to be fired because of it. If it were you or I, we all know what would happen to us. And let me make this perfectly clear. It makes no difference to me whether the IRS is targeting conservative groups or liberal groups. When government targets anyone based on political or religious beliefs or any preference, I will stand up and demand answers because what is right will always be more important than what is politically expedient. 